Kim, put your head back slowly. More. That's it. Now move it forward again. Okay, good. Caress her, girl. Act like you love it, Kim. Come on. It's like you're feeling pleasure you've never felt before. That's it. Enjoy it. Yeah, like that. Caress her legs now, Christine. That's good. Now. Come on. Come on. Oh! Move toward me. Show us you feel it. Come on. That's it. That's it. Get her, Roberto. Ah, that's fine. Move. Great. <laughs> Move around her, girls, and laugh. That's good. Look to your left, Kim. And keep laughing, all of you. Remember, you want to be possessed, Kim. Good. That's it. That's it. Keep laughing. Good. Sexier. Make it sexier. Just a few more, then we can stop. Keep it up. You're water nymphs. Have fun. You're drunk with desire. Touch her. Laugh. Move around more. Offer yourself, Kim. You love it. You too, Christine. That's it. Good. More abandon. Let yourself go. Surrender to pleasure. Now, Kelly, take her. You think it was a bright idea? Reshooting that story with Kim? Every nerve yeah, I guess so. Tingling with desire. Even if it's not the same yeah, thing. Good. Keep it up. Don't oh, stop. Tony knows his work. And Kim's beautiful. But you were something else. Well, don't show it. You're supposed to be hot. I can't believe it's been three years. It's more like a lifetime. Where's the makeup artist? Oh. Okay, come on out, girls. <laughs> Evelyn! <laughs> Evelyn! Where's the makeup girl? I don't know. I guess she's inside. What do you mean she's inside? Uh, here I am. Oh, finally. I'm not paying her to sit on her ass. Look, the girl's makeup is running. Do you mind getting to work? Okay. How come your brother well, always on, gets so mad? Go. Look, we're losing the light. Here, Kim, let me help you. Gloria. Oh, hello, Mark. I'm watching you. You are? Yes, and I'm going crazy. <laughs> if I told you I was playing with it... Would you come over and help me? <laughs> no, don't be angry. It's not true. Don't hang up. I just have to tell you how beautiful you are today. More than usual. Are you wearing your panties now? Oh, don't put down your skirt. You don't know how much pleasure I get just watching you. Don't you want to let me see you in the nude? I'd be forever grateful. Listen, Mark. You've been watching a show right under your window that isn't so bad. Be happy with that, huh? You're not like those others, Gloria. You could put out my fire, all right. You're a sex goddess. You make my member throb with desire. He wants to penetrate your flower and explode. This is inside. getting boring, Mark. And you're not very funny. Outline her upper lip a little more. Here. You have much more to shoot? Oh, uh, a couple of hours. I'd say less. The light's going. Come on. Then I'll go inside and help Evelyn. You're all staying for dinner, I hope. Oh, quel dommage. Kelly and I have to catch a plane tonight. We have a fashion show in Paris tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, Gloria. Thanks anyway. Then bon voyage. Au revoir. Okay, Kim, let's start over here. Tony, we're ready. Tony. Tony. This guy had just finished making love with a girl. I'm sorry, he said. If I'd known you were a virgin, I'd have taken more time. But honey, she says, if I'd known you had more time, I would have taken my panties off. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Roberto. Evelyn, as usual, the dinner was just perfect. <laughs> ah. What would Gloria do without you? You're the best at everything. Now, now, don't be unpleasant. He doesn't have to work at it. It's a natural gift. <laughs> Speaking of natural gifts, I found a gift for you. <laughs> to my darling uh, Gloria. Thank you. They're sweet. Well, after that little coup de théâtre, 
I think I shall be going. Good night. Thank you. Uh, Good night. I'm coming with you. The night is still young. Good night, Roberto. Thank you. Don't be late, Tony. Tomorrow we'll have to choose the pictures. Okay, boss. Oh. Do you need a ride, Kim? No, thank you. I'll stay a while longer. I came with my own car. Hmm. Okay. Aren't you scared to go home on your own? You never know who you might run into. Just as long as he's cute. Listen, honey. There are times when you and I have the same needs. I'm going to bed now. I want to be at work early tomorrow. The next issue has got to be especially good, seeing as you're back with us. I'm sure it will. Good night. See you soon, Kim. Night. <sighs> has it been long since you took an interest in the magazine? It's over a year now, since the day of the accident. Do you like talking about it? Why not? You know, the day you married Carlo, a lot of people thought you were only doing it for his money. Well, don't you believe it. I married because I was in love. No other reason. And never once did he ask me to stop posing in the nude. Instead, he gave me the chance to start a magazine of my own. I was the one who decided to stop modeling and put all that behind me because I wanted to be with him and have his children. I was afraid I wouldn't have time for work. Besides, there was Evelyn, always so efficient and ready to help. But maybe Carlo and I were too happy, and fate decided to teach us a lesson. I'll never forget that day he was killed. A wind came up, and his people turned over. He was like a child who's in love with a toy, determined to reach a record of 200 kilometers an hour. Well, he left me well off. The magazine, everything, and the memories of all we shared in this house. Now I have to start to live for myself again, as well as for Carlo. You're right, Gloria. I'm afraid I bored you. Oh, no, on the contrary. If I didn't have to get up early, I'd stay here all night. You don't have to come with me. I know the way. Ah, it stopped raining. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.
Hello. Your blonde model has just been murdered. Her body's floating in your swimming pool. Do you hear me? You're not very funny, Mark. I'd much rather hear your vulgarity than this stupid excuse to phone me. She was killed with a pitchfork. Believe me, Gloria, it wasn't a pretty sight to watch. Didn't you hear anything? No. If you wanted to frighten me, you have. Now let me get some sleep, please. Too bad you turned the pool lights off. I might have been able to see the murderer's face. It might have been a woman. She had long blonde hair. Are you listening? Yes. Do you want me to call the police? You're not putting me on, Mark. No, no way. Well, shall I call the police or will you? No, wait. Let me go and look first. Listen, Gloria, you'd better not. You won't like what you see there. Only a wild, crazed animal could kill someone like that. You'd better stay in the house. Evelyn! Evelyn! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I... I just went into the kitchen to get a drink. Mark just phoned me. He said that he saw Kim murdered in the pool just now. <laughs> and you believe him? <laughs> that boy's sick. He's sick in the head. Don't pay any attention to him. Go back to bed. And forget it. Nothing has happened, I'm sure. Come on. I'll bet on it. Good night, Gloria. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, the lighting's good. Can you use that one? I don't know. I prefer this one. Look. Yes, it, it's got movement, but so does this. And I like the line of her body. What do you think, Gloria? Oh, they're all good, Roberto. <laughs> Tony, I know you'll pick the right ones, and Kim is marvelous. Okay, let's go with these three. Yeah. Just a moment, I'll connect you. Oh, before I forget, Evelyn. I have Paris on the Kim left her lighter last night at my house. Will you give it to her? Mm-hmm. She'll be happy to know she didn't lose it. Why don't you go into the other office to choose the pictures? Because it's yours. Mm. Well, in there, I feel like a fish out of water. Well, then put on your scuba gear. There's a shark waiting for you. Flora, I couldn't get her out. She knew you'd come in sooner or later. Mm. And so she waited. She's waited in there for a year? <laughs> Not quite, but over an hour, for sure. Oh, come on, find an excuse. She'll just come back another time. Ah, oh, and I was feeling so good. Tear her to pieces, Gloria. Otherwise, she'll tear you to pieces. Ah, welcome. 
Welcome back, Gloria. And to what do I owe this pleasure? Are you here for the usual reason? I'd say suffering has enhanced your beauty, my dear. But not my willingness to deal with you. But why don't you want to sell me your magazine? I know there are better things you'd like. For example? Hmm, to live. You might travel, you have plenty of money. <sighs> my dear, when I think of how you were when I saw you for the first time, you were so provincial and ready to do anything for money. I had to support Tony and myself then. And as you can see, I did it. It's funny, now you're the one who needs me. Don't you ever think of thanking those who lent you a hand in the past? And who should I thank? Me, for example. You never helped anyone for nothing, Flora. Don't give me that. You're too selfish. But I was the one who got you started in modeling, or you'd have turned into a cheap prostitute. You and your brother Tony didn't know where your next meal was coming from in those days. Why, if it hadn't been for me, you'd be walking the street. If you hadn't had the good fortune, darling, to have known me. Walking the street, no. A prostitute, maybe. When there's nothing else, even prostitution's a way of keeping alive. How much do you want? <laughs> this is funny, you know. Here I am, the victor. When you fought off all those men. Oh, my men. They never meant anything more than a Kleenex. Something you use and throw away. Girls are precious, though. You know how to hit someone where it hurts most. I do. And you? When I said I wouldn't work for you any longer, you did everything to ruin me. You even did your best to turn my husband against me with your vile lies. Well, I'm not selling out, Flora. You better forget it. Now go. Okay, when you're poor again and you're too fat to make out with men, call me. You still have some capital. You know, those pictures you once posed for. I'd always be willing to buy them back again. I'm sure that you'd realize a good profit. Oh, naturally, my dear, I couldn't offer the same price. Those photographs still have some value. But, uh, mostly as souvenirs. There was another souvenir that you wanted from me and never got. And that you begged for. Be careful, Gloria. Don't make me change my feeling for you to hate. I warn you, the hate of a woman can be very bad. Evelyn, you know you shouldn't drink. It's bad for you. <sighs> What's wrong? Uh, I found this under the door. <sighs> oh, my God.
Inspector, take a look at this pitchfork. I found it in the gardener's tool shed. Looks like it's never been used before. Yeah. Strange. I've got a sample of the pool water. Take it to the lab for analysis. Don't think you'll find anything new. Just playing it safe. To the lab, too? Yeah. Any sign of burglary? No, nothing. Did you see him? He looks like anything but a cop. Because you watch television too much. They always make us out to be different than we are. I'm sorry. Forget it. I'm used to it by now. Since I joined the force, my hardest job is to get people to trust me. They usually take me for a hood. Please sit down, Inspector. I questioned that kid, Mark. He didn't try to hold back. He told me exactly what he witnessed here last night. It appears absolutely certain he saw a murder. He's the only witness we have, but I don't think he'll be very useful. All we know is the murderer was blonde. But there are lots of blondes, both men and women, and wigs besides. But why send that photograph? And pose Kim's body in front of a poster of me? And why was she killed? Right here, at my house. If we had the answers to all your questions, the case would be solved now. But by sending that photograph of her here, it looks like it points to me. Why? I don't know. And that's not the only thing that's baffling. It's either a warning or an attempt to implicate you. We'll investigate the background of that model and find out who her Inspector friends were. Inspector Corsi. Excuse me. Can I send the men back now? Your breakfast is served. You know you shouldn't spy on your neighbors. It's not very nice. Have you finished? I'll do as I like. Your father called from London last night. But you wouldn't answer. He said he'd call back today. Well, tell him I'm out. What about your mother? She's still on vacation, enjoying herself. Anyway, I don't give a good damn about either of them. Oh, thanks. The beautiful model's corpse was found this morning in a garbage bin on Via Calderolo. Now, you are the news vendor who discovered Kim's body, whose picture appears on the cover of this magazine. Tell us in your own words how it happened. Well, I just finished unwrapping new issues of Pussycat and was going to put the plastic in a trash bin when I saw her, poor girl. Then what did you do? Uh, I, I called the police. And how did you feel? What was your reaction? Why, well, I, I was shocked. I felt sick almost. To see her like that, eyes staring at me and dried blood all over her dress. <laughs> Especially after seeing her so pretty and sexy on that cover picture. What? Hello? It was awful. You ought to thank the murderer, huh? Mark, how can you say that? The one who killed her did you a favor. Your magazine's gonna sell like hotcakes now with her picture on the cover, isn't it? Three years of age and unmarried. Police declined further comment at this moment. Now back to our studio for the rest of the news on the Good Morning Europe. A favor? Hmm. Only a sick kid like him could come up with an idea like that. Why do you talk to him? It's just that I pity the kid. Who are you calling, Evelyn? 
The printer. Oh, Ruggiero, is that you? <laughs> Good. I was afraid you'd already left. Listen, I want another press run. Oh, you'd already figured we'd need one. Good. Yes, that should do it. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. My God, Evelyn, do you think we should be exploiting her murder? Gloria, you're a publisher. You can't afford to pass up this chance. No, it's a mistake, Evelyn. Gloria, I'm always trying to increase our circulation, and now's the perfect chance. I want chance. you to call Ruggiero back and cancel it. What for? By doing that, do you think it would bring Kim back? You know it wouldn't. So why? Yeah. I think Evelyn's right. Even though the killer didn't mean to do you a favor. How many copies are they printing? Well, come on. Here it is. The printer told me how many they ordered a little while ago. Oh, this is awful. Pour me a martini. Oh, forgive me, Lily. Isn't it a little early to be drinking? It's not quite 9.30 yet. Oh, well, my liver's about to explode anyway. The photographer said he should be finished with them by noon. And you say that Sabrina says she won't be coming back. That's right. She signed an exclusive contract with Pussycat. At double the salary that we offered her. That bitch is getting the best we have. Sometimes you just hit on the right idea by accident. Come on, I'll show you the studio. Ah, fine, I'm curious. see Sabrina, lost and alone in a world out of time, haunted by surreal nightmares. Well, what do you say? Mm, it'll cost me a fortune, but how can I say no to you? I knew you'd like it. Thank you. <laughs> if you'd brought Evelyn, it wouldn't have been so easy. <laughs> That's the reason I only brought you along. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to talk to the set designer. You mind waiting? How long will you be? Mm, 15 minutes. Okay, I'll have a look around. <gasps> hey, Johnny, you shouldn't scare the girls like that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But if she'd seen you without your makeup, <laughs> she'd have probably fainted. <laughs> See the chief of the other tribe. You pick up your yeah, sword. but don't forget the last shot I had the sword fight. Like Gloria. Alex. How are you? Fine, and you? Okay, let me look at you. Ah, oh, uh, you're prettier than ever. Before he shoots the case. Uh, listen, I've got a ten-minute break. Oh, good. Do you want to talk for a while? Do you mind? Why not? <laughs> I didn't recognize you dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How long's it been? Over three years, hmm? Yeah. And it was my fault. I don't want to rake over the past, but I want you to know that deep down I knew you were the right girl for me. And that if we kept going together, it would have ended in marriage. And the very thought of marriage really scared me. You're born free, eh? <laughs> There's a right time for everything. And what frightens you today, for example, tomorrow might seem a good possibility. You mean you're saying you're a changed man? You? I could. <laughs> Ah, you'll never change. You'll be a villain till the day you die. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really that bad? No, but it's very disturbing for the girl you're with. Uh, I guess with Carlo it was different. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk about him. I don't mind. After all, if we hadn't broken up, I would never have known Carlo. I guess I owe you one, Alex. Uh, well, hang on. I'm about to make you a proposition. 
<laughs> Come on, Alex, you've got me on pins and needles. What's the proposition? Huh? Am I supposed to believe that a leopard can change his spots? <laughs> yeah, why not? A big bad wolf's been changed into a lamb by a very sexy Bo Peep. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Gloria? I saw the lights on. I didn't know you had company. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're upset because your little brother found you making love with a man. No, I'm not upset. Just a little uneasy. Hey, give me some more smoke over here. Now, girls, try to move together. Yeah. Now, take that shirt off and get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. That's it. Good. Good. Now, turn slowly. Lift your hair up, Sabrina. Lift it up. That's it. Fine. Good. Now you come out of the smoke, but not too fast. That's it. Now, the dream starts to change into a nightmare. It becomes macabre. Very slowly, remember. That's good. Like that. Keep shooting, Roberto. Now, start undressing. Sabrina, you've got to show disgust and excitement at the same time. You're being transported. And you mummies, you desire. Touch your legs, too. Open your eyes, Sabrina. More. That's it. Now, raise your hands toward her breasts. You want to feel the warmth of her skin, but the bandages prevent you. Sabrina, start pushing them away now. Show you're frightened now. Now, change your expression to one of pleasure. That's it. Good. Thanks. Uh, Tony just called. He said the pictures are going to be great. I want you to have a look at the proofs for the next issue. Has Alex called me? Here? No. He's been gone more than a week, and he hasn't even called the house yet. Maybe he's having trouble with the phones in Yugoslavia. I know the problems Alex has. <laughs> They're either blondes or brunettes. Didn't you say it changed? Yes, but I don't know how much. Look, on page one, a photo of Sabrina. On page three, answers to Gloria's letters. And Wolf says she's almost finished writing them. And of then... Of course he called me. Oh. Please don't mention his name, or he might come back again. He spent days in here asking us all kinds of questions. Uh, come on. Can we go on? <laughs> Roberto. I'm going with Sabrina. Hmm. I could see she's the kind of girl who's not exactly lacking initiative. <laughs> I'll see you later. Tony. Yeah, what? You gonna take her back to our studio? Uh, I don't know. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's so hot in here, I can't breathe. The windows are all open. In fact, I'm beginning to feel chilly. <sighs> Come on, darling. Don't take it so badly. You know, it happens to a lot of men sometimes. Yeah? You must be an expert. Uh, you don't have to be insulting just because you're angry. Better to just laugh it off. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I should. Guess I work too hard. <laughs> hey, now, come here. Let's try again, sweetie. I'm not the kind of girl to leave a good-looking guy like you unhappy. Don't worry. 
Oh, good evening. Uh, I'd like to speak with Senor Alex Worth. He's an actor. He's shooting a motion picture there. Oh, there's no one shooting a film there now. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Goodbye. Let me know if you need me to pose or for anything else. Yeah, sure. Ciao. Ciao. Good morning, Tony. Hi. I hear sales are booming. They should, thanks to all the work you've done. I've been calling Sabrina for days. She's Would probably gone out of town, okay? perhaps on a job. Okay, Just like that? Oh, come on, you know how models are? Yeah, I know. But I find it strange because she was expecting a call from me the next day to let her know how the pictures came out. If she was leaving the next morning, why would she ask me to call? 
What you're saying is that she asked you to call the night you slept together. Is that it? Oh! Oh, no! She was found this morning by some children. She was in a pond. The coroner says she's been dead a few days. I was probably the last one to see her alive. The last one, no. You're forgetting her killer. What's that strong odor of perfume I smelled on her? It's strange. That perfume helped kill her. Essence of tuberose. Do you mind explaining, Inspector? How could perfume kill her? It attracts bees. They must have been infuriated first. Then, attracted to the odor on the model's body, they began to sting her. It's certainly a devilish way to murder. What about that photo? You've convinced yourself the killer's real target is you, right? It seems to be obvious now. Look, try not to worry. And don't look for motives, because that's our work. I think from those photos, it's obvious I'm going to be the next victim. And when I asked Corsi, he said not to worry. He'll find the motive, he said. It's my picture with those dead girls. If it's not for that, for what? It's a threat, that's for sure. But maybe he just wants to scare you. Oh, but do you think that someone who's already killed two women only wants to scare me? To commit crimes like that, he must be paranoid. One can't guess what he's thinking. But there's something else. There's some detail I seem to have forgotten. Madam, may I go now? Uh, yes, thank you. What were you saying? That poster of me with the dead girls. It's an old picture, and only one person could have the negative. Who? Roberto. I gave him all those old negatives to hold that I got back from Flora. You have to tell Corsi. I better not. Why? <clears throat> the police would suspect him at once. They'd slap him in jail right away. Two girls. Both were models. And he's gay besides. He probably doesn't have any alibis for either of those murders. Uh, how would you know that? Uh, I'm guessing. You know, he spends the night going around, looking for men. I didn't want to tell you, stupidly. A lot of those negatives, and a lot of valuable other stuff, was stolen from my place. I'd invited around a couple of kids. Roberto, are you trying to tell me those negatives are in the hands of the murderer now? Probably, but not necessarily. It's not absolutely certain that the negatives the murderer has are the original ones, Gloria. That big poster view in the shots with the bodies could have been made from a dupe. I'm sorry, I don't understand, Roberto. Technically, there's no problem. All you've got to do is take a photograph of a photograph. You've got as many negatives as you like. Obviously, when you print them, the quality becomes more grainy. But once you've blown it up to six feet by six feet, it's impossible to tell the difference. Then we're back to where we started from again. I hope you're not too disappointed to find out that I'm not the murderer. Oh, no. No, don't think that. I never believed it was you. Shut up. 
force me to murder you. You want it, girl? Tell me that you love me. Tell me! Here. Thank you. You may go. Hello, Mark. What are you doing? I'm taking my daily walk. Just stretching my legs, Doc. Keep on treating it as a joke, and you'll never get out of that chair, my boy. You quack. Do you think I'm enjoying myself being nailed to this chair day after day? No, I know how much you're suffering. But I also know that your paralysis doesn't have any physical cause. That's what you say. And my father, my mother, it's what you all like to think. You say there's no damage to my spine, eh? So you figure all that's wrong is right here in my brain, huh? Therefore, it's simply my fault that I'm crippled. It sounds like you enjoy playing the victim. Yeah, sure. I like being that. You know, Doctor, you're pretty smart after all. The truth is, you don't want to walk. You have a mental block because you feel responsible for Chintia's death. Yes, you're right. She hadn't been in my car. Chintia might still be alive. And I'd be walking. And we'd even have been married. <laughs> My God. a sauna. I called Spalato. They told me you weren't there and that you weren't expected. That's right. I went to Greece because it's a co-production. Well, the least you could do was pick up a phone and say where you were. What's important is I'm here. Am I important? <laughs> Very. In blue films also? Only this one. But the public seems to have forgotten it. <laughs> Glory is quite respectable now. Do we have to watch any more? Leave it alone and sit down. Good morning. This must be important if you call this all here. I've decided to accept Flora's offer. You want to sell the magazine? I have no intention of working any longer here after all that's happened. It seems the best solution. But it's not as though you killed them. But my pictures with those dead girls, are you forgetting that? Or doesn't it worry you? Well, it won't help selling the magazine. If the killer wants you, it won't solve the problem. Or are you going to go somewhere and hide? Throwing away all your work and hours won't stop that crazy. But if I stay here, she should have killed me.
such a hurry. Oh, what a fright. Say, what are you doing here? I came to get you. Our appointment, remember? <laughs> that girlfriend of mine is expecting us. But how did you know I'd be coming here today? I know everything. And what I don't know, I imagine. Isn't today the anniversary of Carlo's death? Yes. Are you really sure you want to do this? Well, since I haven't sold the magazine yet, I thought I'd model again, like in the old days. Hey, <laughs> I haven't got anything against the idea. I think it's great. I'm coming. Sorry. Hi, Tony. Susan, this is my sister, Gloria. I'm glad to meet you, finally. Tony's always talking about you. <laughs> oh, what does he say? <laughs> oh, he thinks you're the greatest, the most beautiful, the most... Hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> Tony always exaggerates. Yeah, this place is perfect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's over there? Children's clothes. Mm-hmm. Gee, I didn't know it was so big. Hey, be careful. She'll see us. Frankly, Tony, I think you're asking a lot of personal customer service. How could I refuse Tony anything? <laughs> He's filled the house with flowers and candies. Ah, ah. <laughs> yes, phone calls, He's caviar, champagne. Me. You have a very persuasive brother. What do you think if I posed with just this wind jacket on? Uh-huh, good idea. <laughs> or maybe, better yet, nude on skis. <laughs> Well, I'm modestly wearing a scarf. Would you like to visit the other floors now? Oh, yes, I would. Pretty good shot, huh? <laughs> this is the men's department. This is still men's clothing. Men's sportswear, shirts, sweaters, underwear, slacks, you name it. They're as stylish as our clothes now, aren't they? Yeah, we do everything we can to please the ladies. <laughs> They're all becoming more vain than we are. Oh, you're just jealous. Come here a minute. Tony, please. Well, listen, what are you doing with it? Maybe we could have dinner. <laughs> okay, but calm down. Ooh, you come on strong, don't you? Hey! Hey! Come on, it's beautiful up here. Tony, Susan, come on, you can play with fire later. You want to leave me alone here, huh? Come on up now, Tony.
Now it's your turn, Gloria. You can't escape. When we went to the department store, there was no trace of either Tony or his girlfriend. They'll probably turn up in a few days, but who knows where. Thank you. 
Gloria. Drink it. <clears throat> Evelyn, would you open the curtains? It's so dark in here. Is that better? Hmm. It wasn't a nightmare this time, was it? You have to fight it, Gloria. We all have to. I know I have to, Evelyn. I have to go on living. I'll go get your pills. I won't be long. If you need anything, there's the maid. I'll be right back. I wonder where we'll find the other body. Yeah, I wonder too. Hey, wait. All right. Looks like the same killer, all right. Yeah, I'd say so. What do you think, Inspector? Am I going to be the next victim? Yes, hello? Hi, Gloria. It's me, Alex. Alex! How are you? Oh, I'm so glad you called. You finished your film? You back? No, baby, I'm sorry. But I'll be in Rome Monday. Gloria, I miss you.
inspector. We don't have a search warrant. I don't warrant. care. Break it. Hello, who's speaking? This is Inspector Corsi. Stay away from that photographer, Roberto. But do you suspect him? You mean he's the murderer? I haven't time to explain now. Just do what I say, and don't open your door to him. We're coming right over. <gasps> Gloria, let me in. I have to see you. Evelyn! 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 <gasps> Gloria! Understand any of this. Roberto obviously must have hated women. And especially you, Gloria. Then why did he kill Tony? He liked him. It's difficult to know a killer's mind. But in the department store, what I clearly remember had a woman's voice. No, it wasn't a girl. The voice you heard at that moment might have sounded like a girl's voice. Assuming you're right. And why doesn't the rest of it make sense? That car that killed him, for example, why didn't it stop? Oh, I've to blot it out, or I'll go mad, too. Who is it? This is Mark. I see the police are there again. What gives? How does it feel to be surrounded by death? Stop calling, you fool! Our battle seems to have finished. Though you certainly were a tough adversary. I'm sorry, my dear. I'm putting you out to pasture. You know, I suppose I really ought to thank you. I'm getting rid of a lot of bad memories. It's a shame you're so insensitive, Flora. I would have given it to you for the asking. Are you so proud of yourself now? Thank you. 
Evelyn. Evelyn. Keel, where's Miss Evelyn? She's gone, madam. She took all her things. She left this letter for you. Gloria, forgive me for leaving like this, but I worked for you, not the magazine. So what sense would it make for me to stay on, regretting what we no longer have? Good luck. She must think I have a will of iron. She wanted me to go on with the magazine after all of those killings. Yes, hello. Hello. Oh, no. Your turn, Gloria. You can't escape. <laughs> it's your turn to die. <laughs> Come out! Show yourself! Kill me if you must! I can't take any more! <gasps> it's your turn, Gloria. Now it's your turn, Gloria. You can't escape. <laughs> it's your turn, Gloria. How would you like to die? The police took the pitchfork I used to kill Kim, and I didn't have time to get more killer bees that liked Sabrina so much. But I'll think of something. Maybe on the order of how I did Susan. <laughs> ah! No, Tony! No! It's me. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Don't you like me? Oh, no. I haven't become a transvestite. I'm not even very good at that. But why, Tony? But why? You should know, Gloria. You're the only one I love. I've always loved you. Since we were kids. Tony, you killed those poor girls. What made you do that? You ought to thank me. Yeah. That bitch, Kim, was trying to take your place as a model. And Sabrina, your place in bed. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I didn't want that. And that little sales girl, Susan, was trying to trap me. Even Roberto wanted to betray me. No, Tony, no! I'm dead, Gloria. Everyone thinks I'm dead. <laughs> I could have run away, but I figured while you're alive, I, I, I'll never be free. I want to see you naked one more time. No! 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 Tony, stop! Help! Help! loved you, Gloria. Every part of you. Your lips. <laughs> and your tongue. <laughs> and the curve of your white throat that leads to the valley between those rose-capped hills. Now I want to see them. Nobody else will ever caress your body again, Gloria. No. Oh, no. 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 Now this. No. Take this off, too. No. No. I said take them off. brother alive? Yes, he'll make it. Though I'm afraid he'll need a wheelchair the rest of his life. I'm sorry, Inspector. She's still in shock. She has to sleep. Yes, I'm going. I hope that from now on, life will be better for you. We'll see. Get well soon. You must try to sleep now. Call me if you need me.
frighten you? I'm sorry. Mm. I just had to see you. Here. Thanks. Gloria, you won't mind if I phone to tell you that you're beautiful. More beautiful. Of course you can, Mark. Do you know that I'm getting better? I'm beginning to walk a little now. I'm so glad. It's good to see you again. And you... you get better, huh? Yes. Don't forget me now. Promise? I won't. <laughs> 